Each year, we invite industry experts and thought leaders from both the public and private sectors to help illuminate China's evolving influence on the global stage, its future outlook, and the far-reaching global implications. Looking ahead, we will see both national and international opportunities and boarding the fast train of our country's development. Thanks to our country's unwavering support, I'm confident that the opportunities will only continue to expand. Hong Kong serves as a global financial and business hub, acting as the gateway to mainland China and as a regional center for Asia. Its role as an international super connector facilitates global connections, enabling the exchange of ideas, commerce and collaboration between China and the rest of the world. And I think the best way for China to expand to the outside world is welcoming more people coming to China. I think the policy for Hong Kong should be even more debilized. It will become a really attracting global talent to come to Hong Kong and then go to Great Bay Area, go to mainland. That role should be strengthened. One of the world's most important market for productivity increase due to AI. Going forward with China's aging population, in order to achieve their you know, medium term GDP per capita goal, a lot of that has to be replaced with automation and AI. Many of the Chinese clients, they love AI. If you find a good model for that scenario, can be deployed AI and use a right type of the computing formats and setting up the IDC center at the right location and find a lower cost to transmit the data. And you can be profitable from that business. Why is the government you know, so strong to push low attitude economic? I think this market, like uh, almost a trillion dollars, this was uh, forecast by the Morgan Stanley and uh, also the innovation of the technology. China's new technology-driven growth model, Hong Kong has a role to play. Uh, both in technology itself and also the financial market that uh, a brief technology-oriented uh, companies. We are in full agreement with His Excellency's President Xi that both conventional energy and alternative sources of energy will be important to meet the country's needs in the coming decades. To reflect that, we continue to add a range of lower carbon energy sources to our portfolio. If we look at mainland China for the next 20 to 30 years, for renewable electricity, of course, we see massive demand. And this is why last year we saw approximately 40% of all new GDP growth in China being driven by investments into green technologies. Winners especially were solar PV, electric vehicles, and batteries. With trade, there will be undoubtedly disputes. There is the need to have an international global platform to resolve disputes. So what we need to do is more mediation, more arbitration, and I think in these areas, Hong Kong can contribute a lot.